Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing a deep dive into Meta Business Manager and I want to show more specifically how to track conversion data on your page, right? If someone fills out a form, purchases something, how do you send that back to Meta to fuel your campaign success? And if you stay all the way to the end, I'm going to be giving an extra tip on how to create special audiences using this data. So we can just jump right in. The first thing we're going to do is just um, briefly show you if you haven't added your Metapixel to your site, that's going to be the first thing you're going to want to do. So to do this, you're going to select Manage Integrations, um, and you're going to if you let's see we have our Metapixel on our site, um, but if you don't, you're going to just hit new, Add New Integration. Um, the easiest way to do this is go through Metapixel, hit Setup, and then if you already have Google Tag Manager, that's the quickest way to do this. Basically, you give Meta access to GTM. Um, and it will set it up on your behalf, right? It's really, really straightforward. So you just walk through these steps and within about 30 seconds, the um, pixel will be added and submitted to your site. Okay, so once you have the meta pixel set up correctly, hit manage integration, your pixel will say active, select manage again and hit the open event setup tool. So this is gonna basically be meta's version of Google Tag Manager or where you will be able to dynamically track and trigger certain events on your site because you gave access to your site through the meta pixel. So it, honestly, it's very smooth, very similar to Google Tag Manager. So hit open event setup, and put the URL that you want, where there's the event that you want to track, and then select Open Website. And so what this is going to do is going to open it up, but this time you're going to have this Meta Event Setup tool. So one, it's going to tell you what events are already being tracked on the site. Um, but in this specific example, we really want to track um, people that select this. Uh, so if they scroll down, hit Details, and select this download PDF. We want to track all these download PDFs so we can then build a custom audience. Um, but you can track anything, right? You can also go through and track um, apply now. We can track for actual like submit. So if someone does select um, apply now, we have this submit button and that counts as a lead. So you can track really all of these things. But specifically, we're tracking the specific download button on this example. So you're going to hit track a new button click. And we're going to just select this download. See, the event manager through Meta is really dynamic and understands all the nuances of this page, which makes your job as a marketer really, really easy. So you're going to select download, and then you're going to select an event, right? So if this isn't a lead form. Um, this is more of a... Uh, well, just look at all the different custom events, right? You can do add to cart, initiate checkout, lead, purchase customize, donate, schedule, um, submit an application, but this is going to be a uh, view contact, view content. So we're going to select view content. Um, you can add a value if you want, um, choose a value on the page, don't include a value, confirm. And now we have this event triggered in Meta, in the events page. So we're tracking anytime someone selects the download, we want to create a specific event that fires. And you can do the same for a button click click that shows submit or a button click that shows apply now, right? Um, the thing uh, why submit in this example, this lead example is different from the view content because you select submit after you fill out this form, right? So if you don't have a thank you page, you're going to want to lean on the button form. If you do have a thank you page, it makes things a little easier. You can just track the URL and put, you know, your URL backslash thank you here. Um, so once this is done, this is going to feed right into meta events, the event tools. You don't have to publish like you would for Google Tag Manager. It's going to take about a few hours for this data to feed into here, but when you'll know it's correct, check in about two hours and it will start to populate down here. Um, so we have a few events. We've got a lead, a page view, and a view content. And you can start to track um, how successful, how often it's firing. So for example, this lead event, we set it up on March 17th, the next day, boom, we've got um, events coming through. So once you are able to effectively track these events, um, the bonus tip we wanted to show is that if you hit create, you can create a custom audience um, based on your website activity and based on the specific events that you have. Um, so we're going to select any of the view content. So if you hit to download a PDF, we want to put you in a very specific audience. We're going to put 90 days. And we're going to just type it in here, view content audience. 
And then in the description, we're going to put a little bit more um, information. So user clicked download or apply now button. So this shows that this user, while they did not fill out a lead form, potentially they are further down the funnel and interested. So we can create a very specific audience of people that clicked this button, download the PDF. They might be um, thinking about purchasing, but they're not quite, quite ready yet. So then we're going to hit create audience. So now um, Meta is going to populate this audience into your business manager. And I'll show you how to check that. So. Once that audience is created, it's going to um, load, select these um, the all tools and go to the audience tab. And this is where you'll be able to see all of your specific audiences that you're building. Um, and this is, again, a really useful way to leverage your on-page da data. So if you go right here, um, you'll now see your view content audience that is populating. Um, so, um, you know, that's really a, a straightforward approach to being able to track and use events directly on your website or on your landing page. Um, you know, if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, um, and share. Uh, also, if you are interested in more meta ads, Facebook, Instagram ad type videos, um, just comment and I'll try to build out more of this type of content as we see success with our clients.